Are you or someone you know living a Spartan saga? MSU Today is doing stories about MSU Spartans all over the world and getting their stories and how they're making the world a better place and making differences in people's lives. But we know there are more people and stories than we could ever record. That's where you come in. We want you to create a video telling your very own Spartan saga, showing how you or someone you know is making a difference in their community. But you might be asking yourself, how would I create something like that? So you're wanting to make your own Spartan saga video. There are people all over the world doing great things, and we want to record it. First thing you'll need is a camera. Thanks, Professor Media. I think we need to update this. Okay, so first you actually will need a camera. To record your Spartan Saga, you need a professional $1,000 camera. All you really need is a nice handheld camera that goes only for about $100, and they're really easy to use. Or you could just ask one of your family or friends to borrow one. Now before you actually start shooting video, you have to make sure what you're filming is in frame and not shaking everywhere. Would you want to watch something filmed like this the whole time? Would you, Jared? Would you? To fix that problem, you might want to get a tripod where you can set the camera anywhere, and, and they're only like about eight bucks. Or you could get a friend to help you shoot it, so you don't have to worry about the camera at all, and just worry about being the talent. How's the hair? Uh, one more time. You messed up enough today. Uh, Troy, edit that out. Uh. <sighs> Another thing you want to make sure is that people can hear you. You don't want to be too close or too far away. You want you or whoever's in front of the camera to be right in front of the camera, right in the center of the shot, and just far enough away to see and hear. When you're filming someone or something, more than likely you want it to be seen. So, another thing you have to be conscious about is lighting. You want whatever you're filming to be in as much light as possible, but not so much light that they're blinded by the light. Revved up like a dude. So basically, you want everything you're shooting to look and sound as good as possible. You want what you're filming to be something you would want to watch, and that looks good to the eye. So now, you're done, you filmed your Spartan Sagas video, but there's more. Wait, you thought you were done? <laughs> so you've done all that filming, hullabaloo, and now you're wanting to edit. Editing is easier than you might think. Editing is where you tell your story and where you piece together all the things you filmed and make it make sense. Most computers, whether you have a PC or a Mac, come with its own easy to use editing software where you can drag and drop clips, add cool effects and transitions, and piece together your great story. I've always found that it's easier to write a quick outline for your story before you actually go out and film. It makes the editing process a whole lot easier if you already have something in mind. It might sound confusing or like a lot of work to piece together all the shots you filmed, but once you get it, the story begins to tell itself. And still, if the editing still seems way too confusing, you can really sit down and tell your own story and not have to worry about all that. And still, if this is all too complicated, no fear, you can just take a quick picture of yourself and upload your own Spartan Saga story in 500 or 700 words. But now, you you have all the pieces and now it's your job to complete the puzzle. We know that you have a great story to tell and that these were just some tips on how to tell that story. We are looking forward to seeing your own Spartan Saga. To fix that problem, you're...